Bob 22-21 weekly market wrap on this baby NASDAQ 100 we have this big rally we tested that support right there that we did and it was strong but on the third day we had no follow-through this two-day rally here that we had on the third day there was no follow-through no follow-through on the fourth day and then here is the fifth day now this one has a two-day rally once again no follow-through on the third day the difference is between this rally over here we were much deep deeper in the oversold signal on the daily chart and it's been ascending and going up right now we're only minus 20 that is one of the differences as far as momentum goes because we're going to look to see that we hold the previous daily half bar that happened on 519. And the high on 519 was 13.522. The high on Friday, we did get a higher high, 13.570. And that's what you want to see on day three. The only thing is we did not have that breakout volume to get above that 50-day moving average. The 20-day moving average is what's holding it down right now. So on Monday, if the NASDAQ 100 futures gap up, then it would gap up the NASDAQ NDX 100 index automatically. And the chip sector would have to follow through. When I go back to the lows of 5.6, the low was 13588. That's what the lows were on that day. Where I have that trend line is what we would like to see it trade up to is 13626. That would get above that. Now, you'll notice that the highs that we made 13.57 on Friday puts us right where we were over here at the half bar breakdown on 5.9 and that's exactly where we were. The volume that we had was 447,71.0 here and the breakout volume here was 459,605. So we can see what the two different days in the volume patterns were as well. One of the things we encourage you to do is learn how to manage that volatility. Sign up for the free five day trial. Let us guide you. Get the alerts. That's what you want. Just click on the link. That's all you got to do to move forward. Yeah. And we're going to be there every step of the way right through the price movements on the stocks that go in this index that lead rallies higher negative friday a lot of selling in the nasdaq 100 and in individual stocks that had big breakouts and also have pulled back in price and then some well they held up fairly decent there are some however Let's get back to the breakout. It's seasonality. It's going into the end of the month. Is there enough? And what will be the leading factors that push us through the volume on higher volume with that breakout? Yes, and we have a lot of breakout alerts set up for you. All you got to do is claim it. Just claim it now by getting in that free five-day trial. That's all you got to do because there's going to be a lot of stocks that either break out higher or they break lower. If they break lower, well, guess what? That's the side of the market that you got to be on, and that's exactly what we're here to do. So let's get together today and manage through the breakout or the breakdown.